Hello, I'm Jerry Romine coming at you from Phuket, Thailand. And right now we've got a worldwide supply crisis and this year has been insane for shipping stocks. Many shipping stocks have doubled or tripled and Euroseas is up over 900% in the last year. But the crazy part is the shipping crisis is not over and with the recent dip in shipping stocks, I'm looking to load the boat, no pun intended. So today we are going to cover the top 10 shipping stocks, a complete fundamental analysis on those stocks and my top three shipping stock picks right now. Plus, we're going to introduce the new Crypto Minute for a quick crypto update. Let's kick things off with a few success stories from my Discord. All right, all right, all right. Here are a few of our winners from yesterday. Our first one sold UUUU at a 70% profit. This is one of the uranium stocks. We got a special channel just for uranium. Here it is, our uranium bull market, a bunch of our other channels here. So that's one of our winners. And our next one is from Love Girl. This post split last year and after I sold a single share. Today, I love seeing a 1,100% gain and my $89 cost on Tesla. And if we we open up Tesla here, we've got a $3,937 gain. There it is right there, some impressive. And our next one today is gonna to be from Air Tractor, closed CLF position for a 21% gain. And let's do one more. We've got Suzy0921 ASML. They've got a 6.8% profit. NVIDIA, NVDA, a 15.63%. BX, 21.66%. And this has been one of my favorites lately. And then we've got BYDDY. That is an EV company out of China, 19.12%. And let's throw in one more. Sold all of my NVDA at $250. 10% in a week is always nice. Check out my Discord if you want to receive our live trading alerts, daily hot stocks, and custom indicators. Every day you see the results we're getting, and there's no reason why you cannot do the same. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. Fundamental analysis is really easy with the beast mode stock analysis report. So let's jump in and have some fun. We're now in beast mode and the 10 stocks we're covering today are Euroseas, ticker ESEA. They've got a PE ratio of 40.1. We've got Grinrod Shipping, G-R-I-N. PE ratio is negative 45. Zim Integrated Shipping, ticker Z-I-M, and a beautiful low PE ratio of 2.9. Safe Bulkers, ticker S-B, PE ratio 29.6. Costa Mare, C-M-R-E at 8.5. We've got Global Ship Lease, G-S-L, at 13.5. We've got Navios Maritime, ticker NMM, at 4.5, a nice low PE ratio, and this is one we've made money with in the past. We've got Diana Shipping, DSX, a negative 25 for a PE ratio. We've got Danos Corporation, DAC, with the lowest PE ratio on the day at 2. And then we've got SBLK, which is Starbolt Carriers, and their PE ratio is 10.1. So we can see overall all of these have nice low PE ratios, which is something that we love. The Beast Mode spreadsheet is broken up into different sections. So right now we're on the income statement and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And I believe when you break it down into individual sections, it makes it a lot easier to follow and understand. The other thing is my Beast Mode spreadsheets are color coded where the most important lines are in bright blue followed by green. So let's start with our operating margin. We always want that to be above 10% and our highest on the day here is Danos Corporation at 43.22%. We can also see that GSL is very strong at 40.13 and CMRE at 38.88%. And then our very important category is the net income margin. We want this to be as high as possible. Our winner here is Danos again at 33.27. And then we've got GSL at 14.7 is looking strong. Zim very good at 12.98. And then our next one would be ESEA at 7.58%. The balance sheet tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable, and we always want to compare the total assets to the total liabilities. So I created what I call a tattle ratio, and that's just simply a comparison where if we were to look at NMM as an example, they've got 1.2 billion in assets and 552 million in liabilities. That makes their tattle ratio 2.19, and I love a tattle ratio over two, and we always want that number to be higher than one because if it's less than one, that means that they have more liabilities and assets. So here we can see everybody is very similar and our strongest is going to be NMM and then SBLK is also looking very strong at 1.94. 
key metrics. This is very insightful to the company's overall condition. And here we want to see a lot of black and blue. And what we don't want to see is very much red. So our strongest one that's jumping off the page right here is ESEA. They had revenue growth last year of 33.8%. Their free cash flow margin is 30.7%. And their rule of 40 is quite impressive at 63.88%. I mean, it's really rare that you see this sort of a rule of 40 on low PE companies. So that's a huge plus. And then we've got my FNR indicator. And this is where we total up the free cash flow, net income margin, and revenue growth. And the higher that number, the better. And here our clear winner is going to be Euro C's coming in at 71.46. And if we scroll across, we can see that CMRE is coming in very well on the free cash flow margin. And then other companies like Zim, they're just solid across the board and looking good. Same with DAC, another solid black. Oh, and one more thing that we should point out here is we've got Navios Maritime, ticker NMM, and they've got a BD ratio of 1.93. So that's telling us right now that we can buy their stock for lower than their book value. That is impressive. Our next section is the management effectiveness, and this tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. If you're swing trading, this doesn't mean too much, but if you're a long-term investor, I love to look at the return on equity, and then I also love to use my 5R indicator where we sum up the totals of all of these different return ons, and then we get a summarized total, and here we can see our clear winner is Zim Integrated Shipping. The return on equity in the last year has been over 4,000%. Um, maybe that's because they're new on the New York Stock Exchange. So that number might come down a lot next year, but we can see that their return on assets, return on invested capital, and return on capital employed, all very strong. And then we've got the 5R indicator totaling everything up. So let's see, our next strongest one is going to be Danos Corporation at 43.3%, followed by GSL at 33.8%, and then we've got Euro Seas at 32.2%. And the last part of the beast mode that we're going to cover today is the growth metrics and companies should always be growing their business. So I love to look at the EBITDA growth and that is defined as the net income or earnings with interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization added back. And here we can see our strongest company is Zim Integrated Shipping at 187.3. Our next strongest one is going to be Euro Seas, ESEA. And then the other category I like to look at is the net income growth. We can see they've got a phenomenal number here for Zim. Our next one is going to be Euro Seas at 340.1%. And then we've got Starbolt Carriers coming in at 159.6%. So whenever you look at the Beast Mode spreadsheet and each of these different sections, it should become very clear of what your strongest companies are. And now I'm going to go over my top three picks. Here are my top three picks for today. And if you're getting value out of today's video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button so you don't miss any future videos. All right, my number three pick is Danos. They are the most profitable shipping stock with a 33% net income margin. Gotta love that. My number two pick is Euro Seas. They have the highest rule of 40 score and they had a 33% revenue growth last year. And my number one pick, no surprise, it's Zim Integrated Shipping. And I already own Zim and I'm looking to buy more. Zim has the highest net income growth Growth. They are one of the biggest shipping companies in the world and they have the highest return on equity for any of the shipping stocks. Zim was recently in the news with a small fire on one of their ships and I view that as a one-off event and it doesn't worry me. And one other bit of great news is Zim recently bought seven used container ships to increase their fleet size and this will further increase their revenues even more. And with a quick look at the Zim chart, my Momentum Dream indicator shows momentum is increasing and my Buy Zone indicator is telling us we can buy now for an early entry, which are the yellow dots on the far right part of the screen, or we can wait a few days for a lower risk buy entry, which will be signaled with a white buy arrow. And if you would like my indicators, the link is in the setup down below. And now let's jump into trading view for the crypto minute to see if anything is ready to buy. For Bitcoin, I have to use TradingView to get my custom indicators. And if you want the TradingView indicators, I've got a link in the description down below. All right, for the Bitcoin Minute, we're going to go through several Bitcoin stocks as fast as I can. And if we've got any buys, we'll talk about those a little bit more. We're starting off with Bitcoin. We are currently looking at the day chart. And the first thing we want to do is come down to the Momentum Dream indicator. Green is our buy zone. Red is our warning zone or possible sell zone. So right now we're in the red on this and there's nothing for us to do or 
C, we're just gonna wait for that to go green. Up next, we can also take a look at the TV bar, and this tells us in one week, they are down 2.8%, one month, two months, three months, six months, they're up 75%. And then I always like to look at the trail stop, it's currently at 13%, and that tells us how volatile the stock is. And if we're also looking at Bitcoin from a technical analysis standpoint, we like to see higher highs and lower lows. So here we've got a high high, and then we've got a lower low, lower high, lower low. So this is a bit of a concern. For Ethereum, we are close to all-time record highs, so that is good. A real nice bull run right here. And then if we come down and look at the Momentum Dream Indicator, we can see that we were in a green zone here and here, had a nice run up. And we can also see that our momentum is fading right here. We are stacked positive, so that means we are looking for buy signals. And we have a warning bar right here, so this would currently be a pass for me. We're now looking at Solano. They recently hit an all-time high right here. Looking at our Momentum Dream indicator, we had a very nice buy zone fired out of a squeeze, and our last bar is dark blue, which means that our momentum is down, and we like to buy with rising momentum. So this would be a red flag for me, and I'd want to wait for the momentum to be going back up. But just for giggles, let's say that the momentum was going up, and we wanted to buy this. Our next step would be to drop down to the four-hour indicator, and then that's going to tell us what we want to do. So if we look at the four hour indicator, you can see we are in a red warning zone. And you can look at how these last four hour bars have played out, how it is going down. And this is how I use the momentum dream indicator to get in and out of different cryptos. The first step is I look at the day chart. If I like it, then I look at the four hour chart. And then if I'm in the green and I like the entry, I jump in. But if I don't like it like this, it's simply a pass for me. Hope that helps. And the last crypto we're going to look at today is Dogecoin. So if we come over here, we can see that they had a pretty big down day yesterday. No surprise that our momentum is currently down. So we can come over here and we can also see they are in a squeeze and we are alerted to a potential squeeze right here. And just for giggles, let's jump over to the four hour chart and you'll see how this keeps us out of trouble. Wow. Look at these candles going down. So this is definitely the wrong direction. We've got a warning zone and I simply love this indicator for how it helps us. And and that wraps up the Crypto Minute. If you want me to keep on including these in most of my videos, let me know in the comments down below. I try to keep this part as short and sweet as possible. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want some free stocks, check out Moomoo Moo down below, which has a great platform and no fees for trading US stocks. And for free crypto, check out BlockFi. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.